dear ladies, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, guests and esteemed colleagues, let me start the dissertation council um, session, con uh, conferring the uh, the. Um, the degree of candidate of sciences, uh, Serova Elena Sergeyevna, um, which is uh, dedicated to the Russian anti drug policy conflict study of a targeted program approach to regional level. Uh, I declare this session open. According to the degree of uh, 2000 and uh, uh, of uh, eight, uh, 8th of June 2017, Hi, Strepkov, Alexander Ivanov, Doctor of Political Sciences, uh, Professor of the, uh, the Department of Conflict Studies, uh, St. Petersburg State University, is uh, conferred on um, by the uh, by the university with the, the, the position of chairman of this dissertation council. This dissertation council also includes Andrei Georgievich Bolshakov. Uh, uh, Associate Professor, Head of Department of Coflic Studies of Kazan Federal uh, University, Alexander Viktorovich Makarin, Professor, uh, uh, Department of Political Institutions and um, Applied Political Studies, St. Petersburg State University. Doctor of Sociology, uh, Vladimir Petrovich Mileski, Professor of the Department of Sociology of Political and Social Process, St. Petersburg State University, Doctor of Political Sciences, uh, Gulnar Orlenbayeva Nasimov, Professor, Head of the Department of Political Studies of Kazakh National University, named after Al Farabi, Kazakhstan, Doctor of Political Sciences. And uh, on Skype, uh, we have uh, Gulnar, well, she is uh, going to join us uh, by Skype. Uh, uh, from Kazakhstan. And Bolshakov Andrei Georgievich, unfortunately, is not able to take part in this distinction council um, for uh, personal reasons. Uh, first of all, I would like to state that according to the federal law of 2308, 1886, number 127, uh, on science and and uh, state uh, uh, scientific technical policy. St. Petersburg uh, State University has been granted uh, the right to grant uh, uh, degrees uh, uh, independent of the uh, Ministry of Education, and uh, this the decree, uh, the act. Uh, uh, of St. Peter State University has been adopted and uh, it was signed into uh, charter uh, on the 1st of September 2016. According to this uh, act, um, uh, our dissertation council uh, should include uh, not fewer than four people. And our dissertation council uh, has uh, five members and four members are present. Uh, including one uh, remote, um, uh, remotely uh, uh, participating uh, member of the Dissertation Council. And this is the order of this uh, of this session. First, I uh, would like to hear a short presentation of the chairman of this um, Dissertation Council. Uh, and the th second is a short presentation of the defendant uh, that reflects uh, the main uh, uh, positions of the dissertation. Uh, 15 minutes uh, question and answers uh, according to the uh, uh, two-minute limit, um, uh, one per person, and questions are answered by the defendant. Uh, then the um, the chairman of the uh, uh, dissertation Council um, is going to announce the uh, official reviews. Uh, they are in total uh, uploaded on the website of the Saint, of St. Petersburg State University. Uh, so only questions and critique is uh, announced here. Number five, uh, Dissertation Council's uh, uh, Council members uh, uh, provide uh, the audience with uh, their positions uh, and uh, and ask questions of the defendant number 10 minutes per uh, speaker and then um, and and then uh, 
answers uh, from the defendant uh, of no more than 15 minutes um, uh, to the questions, and then open uh, open floor uh, for the um, uh, members of the audience. Uh, but in order to in order to uh, be registered for a question, you have to sign in at the registry uh, sheet available. And then uh, number eight, uh, uh, final answers of the dependent uh, for the question to the questions, and, and then uh, not, not more than five minutes. Uh, then uh, a presentation of the academic uh, advisor uh, of not then three minutes, and then a five-minute break before an open uh, the voting procedure, and then eleven uh, is um, the voting procedure and the counting of votes votes by the by the chairperson of the decision council and number 12 uh, is uh is uh, uh, reaching a verdict on granting or non-granting uh, the sort degree of St. Petersburg State University. And number 13, final word from the defendant of more than, no more than two minutes. Uh, and let me now uh, turn to the um, uh, to uh, fulfilling the uh, uh, the procedure, and I would like you to switch off your mobile telephone. Uh, appreciate your understanding. I would like to announce that um, the full broadcast uh, uh, with simultaneous interpretation is provided uh, and uh, is uh, broadcast on the website of St. Peter's State University. So uh, we proceed to the uh, the main part of the day of the dissertation council meeting. Uh, I would like to announce that uh, Yelena Sergeyevna Sodorova has submitted uh, a, uh, a dissertation uh, so seeking the uh, degree of candidate of political sciences in the speciality 23 uh, Point oh oh point oh six conflict conflictology and the topic is Russian anti drug policy a conflict uh, study of uh, targeted program approach at the regional level and uh, as I said that. Uh, the dissertation council uh, was um, uh, established by the uh, act of the Saint, of Saint Petersburg State University. Uh, the defendant provided the. Um, uh, the dissertation council with the following, the following documents: uh, um, personal uh, statement um, uh, addressed to the uh, Saint Petersburg State University uh, rector, Professor Kropachev, um, and second is the um, review of the academic advisor of the candidate, uh, the candidate of sociological sciences. Um, um, uh, uh, Ag, uh, Professor Ag, Abgajava, and then the the list of publications, um, including six works, um, in which uh, core points of the dissertation are presented, including the four articles uh, that are published in indexed uh, uh, publications um, uh, on the list of the uh, Minister of Education, Minister of Science, of the Russian Federation approved list and then number four is the um, uh, is the certificate uh, uh, certifying that um, that the 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 applicant uh, has fulfilled um, uh, a, a postgraduate study uh, and met all the requirements, including passing all the necessary uh, exams, uh, history of philosophy exam, uh, uh, foreign language, and, and uh, conflictology as a special discipline. And the fifth one is the dissertation in Russian and English. Um, uh, both uh, hard copy and soft copy are provided. Uh, and the station is um, written in accordance with the uh, the state regulations, uh, and and then so the the manuscript uh, uh, is um, con uh, conforms uh, with the uh, also uh, with the. Um, uh, the requirements of St. Peter's State University is um, according to different uh, regulations. Uh, all the documents uh, correspond to the um, 
uh, 2.2 um, uh, regulations from uh, Section 2 on the submission and uh, defense of the stations. Um, at St. Peter's State Minister, do you have any questions uh, regarding the documents that have been submitted to the uh, the Station Council of St. Peter's State University? And no. Thank you. Now I would like to uh, proceed to the content, the core. Um, core factual um, parts of the decision and uh, so the defendant has the floor and 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the decision council, dear guests, uh, I would like to present uh, the decision uh, on Russian anti-narcotic -narc or anti-drug policy conflict conflict study of the targeted program approach at the regional level. But the permanent, the relevance of this uh, distinction includes uh, is the epidemic of narcotics, uh, narc addiction, and this is a national threat to the security of the of the Russian Federation. It's a public threat, and uh, uh, we need to uh, provide a theoretical basis for to the study for the study of this uh, area, and uh, that includes uh, sociology, medical uh, studies, and other. Um, other sciences, um, um, scientists from different uh, scholars from different fields um, dedicate their their efforts uh, to the study of this. But the coordination of this uh, knowledge um, uh, is still open, and the the. Uh, uh, the breakthrough in this area is not seen, and therefore would like to add to this array of studies uh, the the discoveries of the conflict studies and, uh, and the political studies because uh, because um, anti-drug policy is a is an example of conflict interaction because there are different parties uh, that are uh, enforcing agencies. Um, of the uh, dr drug uh, regulations and also some uh, um, civil society organizations and some uh, some uh, organizations that are actually um, stand for uh, the legalization of drugs and so we have to uh, um, reconcile these uh, uh, powers and um, the the um, s uh, targeted pr approach is the uh, the one that we propose uh, in order to provide a comprehensive analysis of this area and 20 years of uh, of this uh, program targeted program approach uh, has not revealed uh, uh, the full potential of this practical uh, approach and uh, Instead of uh, becoming an effective method of uh, conflict resolution uh, at a particular uh, region, uh, they actually this actually uh, creates conflicts uh, between different agents um, belonging to the state and non-state agencies. And uh, would like to therefore add our thoughts to the. Um, uh, to, uh, to contribute to the regu uh, to formulating regulations and recommendations in the area of anti-drug uh, policy, and this, um, of course, uh, talks uh, volumes about the relevance of the study uh, in the current uh, situation. The concept of this study. The object of the study is the regional anti-drug policy of the Russian Federation, and uh, the uh, the object, uh, the methodology is the st to study uh, targeted uh, approach, progress uh, program approach uh, in this area, and the goal is to uh, fully analyze this uh, uh, this approach, the tasks, the con concrete objectives to to generalize the practices. Uh, of the, of the no, of using the notions that um, that have to do with uh, the anti uh, drug policy, uh, define uh, main tendencies of uh, uh, applying uh, the targeted approach, uh, and uh, three is uh, to develop a methodology of conflict analysis um, of this approach, and four.
for is to provide a conflictology analysis of this uh, ad, of this approach at the regional level. First of all, uh, I would like to announce the statements that uh, are going to be defended in my decision or defended in my decision uh, in the history of post-Soviet Russia. Uh, there have been many attempts of uh, identifying the essence of uh, of the, the the interrelation of the uh, notions of drugs and policy. The second, and so the definition of regional anti-drug policy, we understand that uh, there is an interaction of the following elements. Uh, the, at the regional level, the state anti-drug policy um, is regulated by the federal uh, level uh, regulations um, and the work of the uh, state and non-state uh, uh, bodies uh, at the regional level. Uh, including the Arnold T. Narcotics uh, Commission, uh, regional to narcotic commissions, and then uh, uh, also uh, specific anti-narcotics initiatives of the regional uh, bodies. Number three is the, uh, on the models of the uh, uh, ratio between regional and federal anti-narcotics policy um, efforts. Uh, the analysis of the current anti-drug uh, policy uh, allows us to uh, to identify six uh, uh, subcategories um, of this um, uh, interaction. And the fourth one is the uh, the um, the use of uh, pro a targeted program approach in the narcotics policy. Uh, it can be used both at the national and and regional levels. And the fourth about the formal character and the uh, correspondence of the. Uh, the program uh, pro program uh, targeted approach uh, the main uh, the main federal uh, anti narcotic regulations uh, are not uh, a direct guidance for uh, many regional uh, regional uh, policies and this uh, creates conflicts uh, in regions and the six is uh, the study uh, identified that uh, the interaction between or the status interaction between the regional in the regional policy between state and non-state um, organs um, are of a paternalistic uh, nature and therefore it doesn't develop uh, a civil society and the structure of the study uh, it includes the f the uh, in Introduction, and in the first chapter, uh, we provide a theoretical uh, survey of the methodological methodological foundation of the analysis of uh, targeted program approach, and and uh, therefore it includes uh, the uh, analysis of uh, post-Soviet uh, notion concept of. Uh, of the interaction between the notions of narcotics and policy, although uh, these are very well known um, and very well used uh, notions, um, the uh, in the uh, laws of the Russian Federation, uh, these um, these definitions are not clear cut, and therefore they need further investigation. Models of uh, the the ratio between regional and federal anti-drug policies. The author provides a model of uh, the interaction between uh, the uh, regional and federal reg uh, uh, regulatory bodies, and uh, there are models. Uh, um, with lack of initiative, sense, sense systemic initiative, uh, non-systemic initiative, uh, then uh, joining and rejection, uh, crisis model, and then depression model. There are six models that were identified. The, four, the second uh, paragraph includes the, uh, the description of um, an analysis of the targeted uh, program approach that has been uh, dominant in Russia for the, fa uh, for the last 20 years. Uh, it includes um, uh, different procedures um, of uh, governance, including. And in order to um, to identify the conditions of uh, using this uh, approach, uh, we draw on uh, the four conditions uh, identified by uh, Mr. Uh, by.
Professor Lubovny uh, in his book uh, in 2002, and therefore uh, we uh, and use this approach to analyze each regional uh, regulation, regulation, legislation, and practices. Uh, therefore, there are four uh, stages of uh, using the, this uh, approach uh, in the anti-drug policy of the Russian Federation. Uh, in terms of chronology, 1995 to 1998, uh, and in this uh, area, uh, in this uh, paper, we analyze the second period and the third period. Uh, the, the second period um, is uh, between 1998 and 2010, when the uh, the concept of anti-drug policy was adopted. And uh, number three is to 2010 to 2014, when the strategy of uh, anti-drug policy of the Russian Federation was adopted at a national level. And the, the conflictological analysis uh, 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 was provided. Uh, and the empirical basis of this study includes uh, text of uh, 83 anti-drug regional targeted programs. And, uh, e uh, we took one in each uh, region of the Russian Federation uh, as of uh, re uh, Federation as of 2012. And we uh, used uh, open sources uh, uh, found on the internet. And uh, all the uh, 20 uh, 83 uh, programs uh, were adopted and enforced, and um, tw tw 62 programs uh, out of them uh, uh, started um, uh, to be enforced after 2010, or or at in 2010 after the um, the concept of the state anti-drug policy was adopted. Uh, the goal of the uh, regional anti-drug policy, uh, we posit that uh, it should correspond to the, uh, the goals of the uh, old, the national anti-drug policy of the Russian Federation uh, set out in the legislation, but of course confined to the uh, territory of uh, a given a uh, region. And in, ma in uh, most analyzed programs, the strategic uh, goal uh, was only a conceptual orientation rather than uh, an applied uh, uh, focus. In 30% of the uh, formulations, the, region, the regional goals of the anti-drug uh, programs uh, do not correspond to the foundations of the uh, program ta targeted program approach. And subjects. In terms of subjects of uh, the Russian Federation, the regions have the size of the uh, in, in a number of, uh, in a large number of, uh, uh, of these um, uh, programs, uh, there is no delineation between the subjects uh, or the agents of enforcing these, prog these programs. And there is a lack of uh, united governance mechanisms in, uh, in achieving uh, prospected goals. Um, the analysis of the problems. Um, uh, the, uh, the informally, uh, the analysis of uh, anti-drug policy uh, and especially of the uh, drug situation in the region was not uh, set out, uh, would not spelled out in the programs or it was spelled out in a very formal way uh, uh, there's a uh, there's a broken link between um, the uh, situation and the objectives and the events uh, and the measures that, uh, that are set out in the programs to achieve the results. And there is no, in some uh, programs, there are no clear results that need to be achieved. Um, there's a very uh, problematic uh, correlation between the problems and the tasks to be achieved. Uh, there's uh, a lack of justification of um, the goals uh, and why these uh, uh, goals should be achieved. 
So the, um, as far as the effectiveness, the analysis of the effectiveness of the enforcement of these programs, uh, first of all, uh, they are presented uh, in a very formal way. Uh, they're not uh, adjusted to the local situation. Uh, the assessment of social, economic, and uh, uh, f f funding and ecological effectiveness of the realization of this implementation of these programs. Again, this is a very form a formal approach uh, that we envisaged, that we uh, saw. The plan of, of measures uh, uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, clear uh, there's a lack of clear uh, correspondence of the events uh, with a concrete task that this event uh, should fulfill, and f in terms of funding. Uh, we concluded that uh, most programs um, are financed uh, almost exclusively from the uh, regional government, by the regional government, uh, and the percentage between the regional uh, f uh, funding and the um, in uh, the ratio of the funding to the to the funding of all the uh, programs within the region uh, is absolutely different. Uh, but the, medi the medium is uh, 71 percent. Uh, in terms of uh, non-government organization participation uh, or volunteers uh, in these programs, in 80 percent uh, of the analyzed programs, uh, uh, such NGOs are mentioned, or uh, volunteers are mentioned, but uh, uh, patron uh, patronizing approach is used uh, towards these organizations, and this um, creates a, a destructive uh, uh, a non-constructive tendency and even creates conflicts between the state, uh, between government and non-government organizations. And, uh, and of course, it doesn't uh, give any incentive to, uh, to these uh, organizations. And the, uh, the programs that have been adopted, uh, you know, uh, may look uh, good on face level, but they don't uh, work uh, in the positive um, way in this case. In terms of risks, in uh, text of 19% of all the analyzed programs, they uh, they have uh, a mention of risks, but uh, the risks are unclear, and how to deal with risks are unclear. So the conclusions is uh, are uh, the following: the programs have uh, a very uh, wide divergence uh, in terms of uh, quality assessments. Uh, uh, most of them uh, have many uh, legislative collisions uh, and conflict. Um, uh, that uh, that uh, give uh, ripe uh, uh, ground to conflicts um, and conflicts with the program, uh, the targeted program approach, and this progress and approach, uh, approach uh, uh, helps to identify those uh, uh, discrepancies. Um, uh, well, the most uh, 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 core problems um, that we identified is the lack of highly qualified or with relevant qualified applications uh, personnel uh, that would uh enforce these programs uh, at the regional level, uh, a lack of uh, specific uh, body that would enforce uh, uh, and uh, combine the efforts of different agencies at the regional level in anti-drug policy. Uh, and the, for, uh, the possible solutions, uh, first of all, would like to, to advocate uh, creating a unified body that would uh, coordinate uh, and uh, pool the resources at the regional level to, to fight drugs and uh, also and also that would include uh, uh, different specialists uh, that um, that are versed in the uh, in these problems and the defendant also uh, would like to stress that uh, uh, models of uh, anti narcotics programs at the regional level uh, should be uh, also approved at the national level and uh, the problems of the effectiveness of anti drug policy at the in general, should be uh, uh, should be uh, put at the junction at the junction of the examination of different uh, national and regional bodies of the Russian Federation. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions uh, to the defendant? Uh, 
uh, I would like to stress that there are two minutes. If you have any questions, please, uh, you have to, to come to the microphone, take the microphone. Do you have any questions? Yes. Yes, Yuri Vasilevich, please. Yuri Vasilevich Zazulin, one question, no, no more than two minutes. I've just heard the presentation of the defendant. I, I didn't hear uh, not very many mentions of conflict. Or the, the word conflict uh, actually did appear, but in terms of uh, what what exactly does a conflict analysis do to resolve uh, this situation with the anti-drug policy? Is there any specific application, maybe interdisciplinary application uh, of the conflict? Thank you very much for this question. Um, the conflictology uh, analysis uh, is very specific because we are trying to to understand the origins and the basis of the conflict between the um, the state and the rule of law, and uh, there are different agents uh, that debate. Uh, uh, the uh, solutions to this uh, narcotics epidemic, uh, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, poli any policy uh, can break up uh, society, and drugs um, are in no exception, and this is a, a source of conflict. Uh, and um, the whole society is engaged in fighting this this evil, and um, and there are uh, forces that um, counteract. And they worked on the text, but even working on the legislations at the regional level, even that analysis helped me to understand that uh, that this is a potentially uh, conflict-ridden uh, area, even at the federal level and the regional level. The uh, the the conflicts are not available. And if we don't deal with them, we won't so solve this uh, huge problem. Mr. Mire uh, Professor Mirezky, please. Elena Sergeyevna, would you like to come back to slide with the goal of your research? And while you're doing that, I would like to ask you this. Yeah, you formulated the goal as follows. And that one slide before that. Not conceptual, it's, but the, yes, this, the goal is at the back, bottom. The analysis of uh, uh, using, using a targeted program approach to, an, uh, to assessment of an anti-drug policy at the uh, regional legal level. So, uh, having analyzed the use of a targeted approach in uh, anti-drug policy, what is the main result? Uh, just in a couple of words, that you you think uh, you'd consider the main breakthrough that would uh, justify the uh, inclusion of political science in the in the study of the of the anti drugs process because opening up a, a heuristic potential in the analysis of anti drug policy that you've conducted is a good thing but maybe something else that uh, or something more impressive uh, as a scientific uh, result that would uh, that would uh, show us demonstrate that uh, using political science uh, uh, is very helpful in this. Then, of course, uh, we cannot grant you for the analysis. We have to grant you f uh, the degree for the results. Thank you very much for the question. 
the main result, I think, is that uh, we have to get away from formalism. Well, uh, uh, maybe it's not uh, a very scientific f statement, but the analysis uh, made it uh, made us um, uh, made it possible to uh, to come up with the conclusion that uh, that the the legislations uh, of different regional levels are very formal mechanism, and they help very little solving practical, practically solving the problem of drugs uh, at, in these uh, regions. Sergey Vasilovich, uh, please uh, come to the microphone, please. The, the good afternoon. I have a question. You, when when you finished working on this uh, pro, on this work, do do you envisage any practical, practically uh, pr promoting uh, your practical recommendations or uh, in? Uh, uh, Paragraph four of my work: uh, concrete recommendations uh, are provided, uh, you know, based on the results that I've achieved uh, in the in the anti-drug policy. This the text has uh, the concrete recommendations, and well, the time constraint. Um, uh, doesn't allow me to because my work is uh, practice oriented and uh, it it really can help uh, regional bodies to uh, to in improve their work in this area any questions no thank you very much Elena Sergeyevna take your seat I would like to proceed to the um, to the, uh, the reviews uh, one review is um, from uh, from uh, uh, Georgi Vasir Zazulin, Professor Zazulin of, of the Department of Conflict Studies, St. Peter's State University. I will not read uh, the complimentary part, uh, but but I would like to uh, to just uh, read uh, the critique, the critical point, and also the conclusion. Yuri Vasilovich writes that uh, the uh, the paper is lacks uh, uh, a full description, uh, an adequate descri descri descriptions of the the methodology used um, uh, in this paper and the conclusions that uh, that it yields. Um, but on the whole, the reading of the participation dissertation provides a very good impression, and uh, the dissertation conforms to the standards of uh, St. Petersburg State University on the granting of uh, degrees uh, of candidates of sciences at St. Peter's State University, and uh, uh, and the defendant Serova is entire is. Uh, uh, worthy of uh, being confirmed uh, uh, this degree, and this is uh, in addition to uh, the reviews. And maybe the the people present uh, will um, will read their own uh, reviews. I will start with my own reviews. I will skip the commentary parts, uh, uh, but I will just uh, talk about the critique. Uh, uh, they concentrate on the second and third uh, sections, um, and um, this is in line with the qu one of the questions that uh, we just heard. Conflict studies. Um, uh, this is the first uh, defense of con in conflictology, and uh, I'm not. G and this is a, a, a first uh, and very important uh, step. And um, I would like to read out my crit critical points. Um, and of course, the, this is a great uh, contribution to the conflict studies. Uh, uh, a very viable uh, analysis of uh, the program targeted progress approach and the practices of uh, state 
uh, national and regional uh, bodies and other uh, agents of anti-degree anti-drug policy. Uh, it's, um, the main uh, stages of the evolution of the anti-drug policy have been identified uh, and the legislation has been analyzed um, and um, f starting from the concept of state policy uh, in anti-grade anti area up to the strategy of the anti-drug policy of 2010 and the pages uh, uh, I mentioned in the in the dissertation, and uh, it uh, postulated that uh, since na 2008, uh, since the the uh, the uh, creation of anti-drug uh, uh, agency uh, at the national level, uh, the the policy has been uh, uh, enforced, and six. Um, Models of anti-drug policy ha have been identified by the authors, and they have been uh, analyzed, uh, cross, uh, cross compared, and um, and uh, the arguments um, for the improvement uh, of the policies um, at the regional uh, level in the Russian Federation have been provided. On the basis of the analysis uh, of the legislation of the government of the Russian Federation on state uh, um, targeted policies and drug uh, prevention and drug fighting uh, of uh, 2007, and uh, and also on the um, uh, the strategy of the Russian Federation in anti-drug uh, policy. Uh, the um, there's a very good analysis uh, on page 23 of the station, uh, a very thorough analysis, um, and uh, the overview of the um, evolution of this uh, policy of the two last 20 years uh, uh, has been uh, looked at and analyzed, um, and how it has improved uh, uh, the situation uh, in the Russian Federation and where what is uh, lacking. And there has been a thorough analysis conducted of the regional anti-narcotics policies and uh, also at the formal uh, textual analysis level and also uh, some practices uh, and and also and at this level uh, there there are very uh, the, uh, the author identified many uh, legislative collisions uh, between uh, different um, uh, regional um, regional uh, uh, rest, uh, st articles uh, uh, law articles and the national legislation and uh, also the author identifies that 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 the prescript prescription prescriptive um, uh, the prescriptive um, statements are lacking in many degrees uh, in many uh, statements of the regional uh, policy uh, documents and uh, also, uh, the, some some principles um, of uh, these uh, regional policies um, do not conform uh, to the national strategy, um, and of course the the low. Um, Correspondence and the low uh, the competencies that are manifested by these documents, uh, of course, uh, work in a detrimental way uh, to the effectiveness of the uh, anti-drug policy. And also, there's a low level of interaction and cooperation between uh, uh, between different uh, players in the field of uh, anti-drug policy of the Russian Federation, both at the regional and national levels, uh, and uh, the, they are even in conflict with each other uh, very often. And so uh, the author provides a uh, methodological, methodological basis uh, for uh, creating practical recommendations on the improvement of uh, anti-drug policies at the regional levels uh, in order to 
uh, to increase the uh, the effectiveness of the re of the results and uh, of course they can be used uh, in uh, assessing the results of the uh, in implementation of these uh, targeted programs at the regional level and um, there are recommendations uh, on how to use uh, the program targeted program method in um, in uh, this practical assessment in even not only in the of the existing uh, the existing um, legislation uh, legislation documents but also in uh, creating new legislation and uh, i would like to uh, stress that I recommend uh, uh, to uh, to send uh, the the content or the dissertation as an analytical document uh, to the uh, regional level uh, level agencies and national level agencies as a very strong um, analytical mechanism of uh, that would uh, contribute to the improvement of uh, legislation uh, in this area. So the characteristic of uh, uh, today's anti-narcotic uh, situation uh, doesn't allow us to uh, to talk about um, a breakthrough in this area, and the the author really provides uh, 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 provides uh, ad arguments uh, why this is the case, uh, and, um, and there are some critical points. Um, there are some. And models, um, the 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 model, uh, the paragraph that uh, talks about the models, uh, it finishes with uh, with a hypothesis rather than with the resolution uh, that is well argued, and in some and in other paragraph in chapter three also uh, has a hypothesis rather than. Uh, a um, statement of uh, policy that is well argued and of course there are some type typographical mistakes uh, but they can be uh, improved uh, while proofreading uh, this dissertation but on the whole i i greatly advocate uh, the uh, the possible res verdict of granting this this, uh, this uh, defendant with the degree of candidate of sciences uh, in conflictology, and uh, and this the the speciality is uh, twenty three point oh oh point oh six, and I would like to read out. Um, the review of the dissertation council member that is absent, uh, Professor Bolshikov, and the the review of the dissertation uh, by Professor Bolshikov. The regional level, um, the regional level anti-drug policy uh, conflict ecological analysis of uh, targeted program approach at the regional level. Uh, uh, covers a very um, relevant topic uh, in today's Russia, and especially uh, that are very uh, that is very relevant to the conflict studies uh, in the uh, in the literature, and it talks about uh, uh, a very important uh, problem, and it uh, also deals with a lot of more uh, a lot of uh, documents uh, according to the official statistics that. Uh, that take drugs regularly and non-regularly is uh, 7.3 uh, million people, and but these are very tentative uh, official data. Uh, the the numbers are can can actually be higher, and and this is an epidemic, uh, and uh, this um, this epidemic uh, is dealing a huge blow on the on the genome of the Russian uh, Federation, uh, na uh, the Russian nation, um, uh, including different uh, ethnic groups, of course. And uh, it's, it makes uh, the study very relevant and very important. And the the pro, the uh, def uh, defended uh, thesis is a very logical, has a very logical structure. 
um, and it allows uh, the structure allows uh, to achieve uh, uh, the il the desired results uh, that are set out in the dissertation. Uh, and, and talk in detail about the regional level legislation and uh, also uh, the defendant uh, looks closely at uh, the different uh, the correlation of uh, scientific uh, academic terms uh, and legal terms uh, that are used in anti-drug legislation uh, so, uh, the defendant uses uh, draws on the research of not only Russian uh, s scientists and scholars uh, in conflict studies, but uh, many res uh, research works uh, of international scholars and uh, leading scholars in the field, uh, including Strykova and other uh, other uh, scholars. Um, the text uh, is very cohesive, um, and the uh, very often, uh, as uh, the defendant points out, there's an anti antagonistic conflict between the government and uh, non-government organizations um, that operate in within the realm of, of um, anti-drug policy, and uh, the defendant. Uh, uses very, very uh, scientifically and very effectively uh, the targeted approach, uh, conflictological analysis. One of the strengths of the dissertation is uh, the analysis of models of anti-drug policies pages uh, 25 to 35 and the hypothesis of the author that uh, many regional programs uh, have a formal character uh, find uh, proof in the dissertation and um, and that uh, another uh, hypothesis that uh, that uh, the national uh, concepts uh, uh, are, don't uh, get used uh, as guidance in the regional legislation. And uh, she also points out that the, the number of, uh, of agents, uh, uh, the players in this realm, uh, should be drastically in, in, uh, increased. And so the criteria of the analysis of anti-drug policy uh, results, uh, the goals of the, uh, and the, the uh, objectives, uh, the assessment criteria, the funding, all these uh, parameters are very important and are analyzed thoroughly by the defendant. And the defendant also concludes that, uh, that there are legal collisions uh, between the strategic um, legislation of the national level and the uh, regional level. And uh, she also points out that although uh, this exists, but uh, uh, as of 2010, when the strategy was adopted, uh, uh, the regional programs have been amended as well. And uh, also, uh, a very valid point from the defendant is that uh, a unified body that would coordinate efforts of different bodies uh, that fight drugs uh, should be created in every region. Uh, and this body w should include uh, a PR specialist, a psychologist, a, a law enforcement uh, uh, a specialist, uh, and uh, uh, a lawyer. And, and, and th this is... Uh, but uh, uh, as far as the critique goes, uh, some paragraphs are huge. Uh, uh, paragraph one and paragraph two uh, are uh, very big. Uh, they they run. So, you know, the biggest paragraph is 75 paragraphs, uh, which is three times as uh, long as the other paragraphs of the dissertation. And uh, the analysis of all regional programs are included in one paragraph, and this uh, doesn't uh, look uh, very good, and, and uh, it's harder to read. 
Well, it's in terms and this synonym of the uh, dialectical approach, what is a pr conflictological analysis? Uh, uh, why is it uh, di differentiated from uh, expert uh, expert um, uh, opinion? Uh, what is the difference? Uh, why are they synonymous or may be looked at as synonymous? Uh, the the empiric, empirical the data of uh, 2016 and 2017 uh, is non-existent. Oh, actually, it's, it, uh, the data about 2016 uh, only includes uh, the mention of the of the um, dissolution of the, uh, the unified anti-drug uh, agency of the Russian Federation, but but there are no other studies of what happened in legislation and other. Um, uh, other uh, spheres uh, of anti-drug policy that year or or uh, uh, 2017, and uh, but still, I would like to um, to advocate the the idea that uh, this uh, the recommendations of this um, defendant is very unique and can be. Um, uh, recommended for distribution uh, to uh, state bodies that are in charge of anti-drug policy and the the pro uh, the defend the defended uh, dissertation totally conforms to the standards of of uh, St. Petersburg State University on the granting of uh, candidate of sciences degrees uh, at this university the said universities and Serova Yelena um, Sergeyevna is entitled, is uh, worthy of receiving the uh, sword degrees, degree uh, signed by the Associate Professor of the uh, Kazan State um, uh, University um, Department of Conflictology. Um, uh, prof uh, Associate Professor Bolshakov, and I would like to give the floor to to the members of the Distation Council. Maybe Professor Gulnar Orlenbaevna Simova, would you like to speak first, or will you give the floor to a man f first, gentleman first? I uh, is very bad connection. Would like to give you the floor first. Thank you. Yes, I can hear. Can you speak now? Can you please? I would like. To, I would like to. What's the, what was the answer? Would you like to present? My, would you like to present your review yourself? Can you present, or should I do it myself? Maybe, maybe it's easier for you to do it uh, just to save time, because the connection is really bad. Yes, I would like to. Yes, thank you very much. I'm going to read it because the Skype connection is not uh, very um, uh, reliable. So I would like to read out the the review of. Uh, Professor Gulnar Orlenbaeva Nasimova, is it allowed uh, by the procedure? Yes, it is allowed by the procedure. So, yes, here's the um, review. I found it. Yes, yes, I found it. I would like to read it out, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, members of the Distation Council. The review of the member of the Distation Council. Uh, of uh, Gulnar Arunabayeva Nasimova, professor, head of Department of Politology of Kazakh National University, named after Alpha Arabi, Kazakhstan, Doctor of Political Sciences, uh, for the dissertation of uh, in conflictology, uh, in conflict studies uh, on the topic Russian anti-drug policy, a conflict studies analysis of the program of the targeted program approach at the regional level uh, the this 
the pr approach that is analyzed and uh, talks about the policy uh, that uh, target, uh, targets uh, the drugs policy, drugs uh, situation in the country at the regional level, and uh, the the goal of the dissertation in conflict studies uh, uh, should contribute uh, to the uh, rec to the uh, body of research uh, on this uh, f in this field. Uh, the dissertation sets out uh, the main principles of uh, of the policy on uh, anti-drug policy in Russia. It identifies characteristics um, typical of the targeted uh, approach, uh, targeted progr program approach that is applied in the Russian Federation to to fighting drugs. Uh, uh, the defendant analyzes. Um, uh, uh, make th uh, the programs that are adopted at the regional levels of r all Russian uh, regions. Uh, it provides uh, indicators of uh, measuring the effectiveness uh, of uh, of these programs in fighting drugs. Uh, the results uh, are very logical and very coherent and very compatible with each other. The results. Um, are grouped uh, into uh, different uh, areas um, in a very structured way and the structure of the dissertation uh, conforms to the uh, uh, the goal of dissertation and uh, is very effective in in doing that um, the conclusions uh, of the dissertation uh, can be used in implementing a practical policy in the Russian Federation at the regional level and national level and so the the dissertation totally conforms to the, the standards uh, set out uh, by this by St. Petersburg State University uh, on granted the degrees uh, of candidate of sciences um, and Serova uh, Elena Sergeyevna is fully deserves uh, granting this uh, de being granted this degree member of the dissertation council professor uh, of political of, uh, of political uh, process, uh, the Department of Political Process Conflict Studies uh, of Kazakh National University, uh, and signed uh, by our esteemed member of the Dissertation Council. I would like now to give the floor to the the Dissertation Council members who are present and this room. Uh, please. Um, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, members of the station council, dear chairman, uh, dear guests, I would like to present my review of the dissertation by uh, Serova Elena Sergeyevna. The dissertation is very le relevant and it concerns an underdeveloped, understudied area in conflict studies. Uh, the, co the drug policy in the Russian Federation. Of course, we had drugs in the Soviet Union, but, uh, but uh, since the 90s, uh, 1990s, uh, this problem has it has uh, really acquired an, a very acute uh, character, and where the country was opened up, everybody got freedom to do what they wanted, and um, and of course. Um, we're trying to cope with this problem, but this situation is a very difficult one, and therefore uh, the dissertation is very relevant because it concern, uh, concerns a very pressing problem. And the author justly uh, believes that the uh, this, the academics and public uh, officials uh, and state bodies have been in search uh, for decades um, uh, for clear definitions of uh, drugs and policy concepts. And, uh, and, and uh, 
page 21 that uh, this approach is uh, number 13. And um, she men mentions uh, the the notion of the state and narcotics policy in the strategy of the Russian Federation in this area till uh, 2020. And of course, uh, uh, expert opinion uh, is quoted and, uh, and uh, also she uh, talks about different uh, definitions uh, and is it as uh, the author states the the search is still ongoing but on the other hand uh, the uh, clear definition with which would have a consensus uh, really prevents uh, developing a clear strategy and fighting drugs uh, and that's page 22 and the specifics of uh, regional, there's regional specifics of anti-drug policy. Uh, uh, the analysis uh, thereof uh, have allowed uh, the defendant to identify six models uh, that I use and uh, implementing and formulating this policy in different regions of the Russian Federation. And she pointedly find, uh, uh, states that um, uh, that a lot of the programs have formal character and they don't conform to the guidelines of the national strategy and drug drug uh, uh, prevention and uh, and uh, that's for page 49 and uh, also I would like to mention um, uh, to I, I, uh, I reiterate uh, that um, that uh, the, the 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 interaction between governments and, uh, and NGOs uh, have a very paternalistic uh, character nature, and um, this is uh, not very helpful. Well, the the complementary part um, is. Um, Probably I'm going to finish here, or maybe a theoretical, methodological foundations of the are um, based drawing on the um, the national research, uh, primarily, but also uh, international research. The 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 approach uh, of the author is very comprehensive. Uh, she works with very many source, sources, but and the dissertation has a quality uh, that is very adequate. And in terms of goals and objectives, um, and the logic is very good, and the argumentation is quite valid. The the work draws on uh, on uh, many sources, both national and international, and so the the theoretical uh, originality, the social originality, is there as well, and um, the um, the the theory uh, finds uh, justification in empirical data and um, this is the the distinction includes uh, an introduction to chapters and a conclusion they're logically coherent uh, the um, the thought proceeds uh, smoothly the logic is there and the and this the the author uh, clarifies uh, and systematizes uh, st um, core forms of uh, anti-narcotics policy and, and of course uh, with very clear uh, very clear strengths uh, I would like to point out some drawbacks uh, and I'd like to say that not all things of for formal character don't f I, I find reflection in the 
well some stylistics um, stylistic mishaps and um, and the third is uh, the content the methodological concept uh, could have been uh, improved maybe if the author had uh, drawn on more international in uh, uh, foreign literature in the area and it could really have helped uh, uh, the um, the conceptual basis there well there are some elements but uh, but um, but to my in my view and also you know we we uh, maybe lack some uh, reasons of the situation and maybe so in general the distation of the of uh, the a defendant uh, covers a very important area and represents a rounded a piece of research in conflict studies it includes uh, various um, sources, uh, high quality theoretical survey, and the practical uh, practical qualities as well, and um, can be recommended for uh, for for the state bodies to uh, to draw upon in terms of uh, assessment of legislation and the relevance of uh, targeted program approach uh, to the practices that are implemented right now. So the conflictological analysis of uh, anti-drug policy of the Russian Federation at the regional level is a very original research and uh, it's very relevant and it's uh, it's novel and it has uh, uh, practical significance and the main conclusions uh, uh, have been actually discussed at three uh, international conferences uh, have been uh, tested out there and um, of course the publications are in the journals um, approved by the Minister of the Russian Federation which is a great plus and so the conclusion my conclusion is that the dissertation of of Serova Elena Sergeyevna on the topic the Russian anti-drug policy a conflict studies analysis of the targeted program approach at the regional level uh, conforms to the standards of the University of St. Petersburg St. Petersburg State University on the granting of uh, degrees uh, of candidate of sciences at the said university uh, is there and uh, and Serova Yelena Sergeyevna deserves being granted this the sword degree thank you very much um, now the floor is uh, uh, professor o Miletsky, Vladimir Petrovich, I take advantage of the regulation uh, for th that allows the the uh, the session council members to be very laconic. Uh, I just stress that uh, that my review is is uh, available for. Uh, anyone to get access to on the website so I'll just stress um, I'll get straight to the point so uh, to and the point is uh, for what uh, the defendant deserves uh, the, the degree the sword degree I think that she doesn't only deserve the sort degree for the analysis of the targeted um, program approach in the anti-drug policies, but for the following obvious 
results of the work. And this is uh, a cer certainly a very clear contribution to the conflict studies literature research in this area. The first point, the author has succeeded in, uh, in, uh, in achieving a very fruitful uh, goal of, uh, a, of assessing the, uh, the use of uh, targeted uh, program approach in the regional uh, policies, anti-drug policies. Second is to identify, uh, she uh, managed to the identify the specifics at different levels, at, uh, dif in different regions at the regional level, uh, the specifics of this uh, drug policies. And uh, she identified uh, the uh, lacking uh, coherence between the regional legislation and the national legislation in this area. And a very important point is that the paternal, paternalizing a, uh, character is evident in the um, in tr in the state treating other agents uh, in this area, including NGOs. Well, and the defendant also conclusively proves and even reconstructs uh, the contradictory revolution, evolution of the government policy in preventing and fighting uh, drugs since uh, 1995, but also and, and she managed to identify the um, specific characteristics of this policy. Um, and not, I would like to stress that uh, not every analysis uh, of uh, can yield uh, practical results that can be used by non-academic bodies. But here we clearly see uh, the obvious results and this, um, these recommendations can be uh, used by state bodies in improving their policy. And this makes us, gives us the right to say that this, the dissertation is, has been completed by by an established scholar. Well, of course, there are some drawbacks, uh, including some stylistic and grammatical uh, uh, mistakes, uh, disproportionate uh, um, disproportionate uh, v sizes of uh, different paragraphs. Uh, but this is by by no means uh, is a conceptual drawback of the uh, dissertation, and uh, the dissertation is also um, characterized by the uh, very valuable scientific and practically important results and uh, and methodologically as well very very uh, important because uh, because the the regional policies uh, anti drug policies are a very important area in the current session and the conclusion is that the dissertation of Elena Sergeyeva Serova, the Russian anti-drug policy uh, uh, conflict, conflict studies analysis of uh, targeted program approach at the regional level, 
completely is in complete accordance with the standards set out by St. Petersburg State University and the relevant degree of uh, the 1st of September 2016. The research is independent and original piece of research and um, and this is a very high quality piece and uh, and the defendant Serova Elena Sergeyevna strongly deserves uh, the sought degree in political science thank you very much that's my conclusion Thank you, Vladimir Petrovich. The floor is now uh, given again to Elena Sergeyev. Well, your, your time limit is 15 minutes, no more, to answer the, the critical statements of the reviewers. So, please. Thank you very much. I'll be very brief. Thank you very much. All the Station Council members have been very thorough to, uh, to uh, when, uh, in studying my this text, and uh, and they weeded out, uh, they identified uh, uh, grammatical and uh, stylistic mistakes, and I totally agree that uh, they should have not overlooked it. In terms of the paragraphs. Uh, uh, about the uh, concrete examples uh, about conflicts and uh, the um, well, I provide I provide uh, sources um, and the um, the data is is analyzed and I was not uh, be I was not able to present that in my presentation because uh, I was short of time and uh, I agree that uh, that uh, unfortunately the the paragraph was too long that's true but uh, but the logic of treatment uh, of the single topic that I cover there didn't allow me to break uh, the paragraph into different parts as far as the policy uh, that uh, that you mentioned, uh, the the passage that you mentioned that it doesn't look logical. Uh, yes, uh, I just uh, missed uh, the particle no, and uh, if we insert the no and uh, in the um, the passage, then it becomes logical, and this is a stylistic mistake, and I am very sorry that I committed it. As far as the the uh, conclusions to paragraph one of the first chapter, the pro the problem is that you mentioned that uh, some conclusions are in, in the paragraph th it's itself, uh, but. Um, Maybe in terms of structure of the station uh, is incorrect, but this is this was my choice. Uh, as far as the use of more international authors, unfortunately, not uh, many uh, sources uh, are cited. Uh, but uh, the problem here is that um, foreign authors, uh, very few authors. Um, analyze the Russian anti-drug policy well uh, unfortunately and I had to uh, I had to analyze more Russian sources because I wanted to to come fo focus only on my topic as far as the the state and federal the interaction between uh, the federal and the uh, regional level policies. The federal authorities um, have uh, never uh, have never approached the regional uh, governments uh, uh, in terms of uh, 
like you know uh, putting their legislation in order in order to meet the national legislation therefore the reason uh, and this is the reason why there's so much uh, deviation in the regional policies with the uh, national policy as far as the uh, the uh, outdated empirical data yes you're right uh, the period uh, ends that i analyzed ends in 20, 2012 uh, but this is the only thing i could do because uh, this the only uh, data i could find because after 2014 the, the the was the strategy adopted uh, uh, and uh, and I worked on my pay, on my research uh, for a number of years and uh, uh, this new data uh, you know I couldn't really uh, analyze uh, that and uh, if you look at the four stages of the program uh, pro pro uh, using uh, the targeted program approach and the drug policies, you see three, four stages, and uh, you see in number four, which is the period uh, between 2014 up to now, and I don't touch that, but you see that. Um, uh, uh, but you see the difference uh, I can mention is that uh, the anti-drug policies um, on, have become since then part of uh, other uh, programs and uh, this is not maybe a good thing because uh, it, they get dissolved, uh, diluted. Um, and um, because uh, this dilutes the specificity of the problem and um, f um, the the best example of this uh, negative uh, um, impact is the program of the crime prevention uh, and uh, in one of the regions because uh, anti-drug policy was uh, joined with, uh, you know, a straight dog uh, policy uh, and uh, crime. And uh, this is, uh, you know, basically adding oranges to apples. And uh, of course, uh, this uh, this really uh, doesn't achieve censure, but on the opposite, it achieves uh, uh, the adverse effect. And uh, so the I would like to state that um, the use of target tar program tar targeted program approach uh, uh, the application of it is even less effective uh, than the previous um, the previous approach that was used uh, before the um, national legislation was passed thank you very much that was all thank you Elena Sergeyevna please take your seat I'd like to now to proceed to uh, discussion and according to the new order I would like to give the open floor to non-members of the discussion council anyone would like to speak have you have you joined your names in the on the list could you give me the list of those Please, uh, those who have uh, signed up for a comment. Anyone? Well, Zazulin. Yes, Fury Vasilevich, please. And after that, uh, Vladimir. Just, uh, yes, uh, you can use any microphone, but up to five minutes, please. Dear colleagues, for me, this defense is very significant because the strategy, the strategy of anti-drug policy is 
finishing in 2020 and it was signed into law in 2010. When I studied this uh, issue, I came up, came up with the the, uh, the um, conclusion that um, that uh, this this tragedy is a follow up, really a slight reworking of the previous project. Uh, previous uh, uh, pro, uh, document, which was the concept of anti-drug policy. Well, uh, they added international cooperation and some other minor points, and then uh, it became a strategy. So if you look at the uh, the uh, the concept uh, approved by the uh, Security Council of the Russian Federation and the strategy, it was really a step back, um, and what we are seeing today, we are seeing that the, the situation has not drastically improved, and actually not very much improved. And maybe we should uh, create a working group on the basis of the uh, department in St. Peter's State University, maybe an interdisciplinary group uh, that would uh, have for all the people that... Uh, and of course, uh, we could approach uh, the governor of St. Petersburg uh, to uh, with a with a proposal to um, to uh, create this working group in order to uh, to have this group charged with uh, with an, another draft uh, bill for the concept of the regional anti drug policy and. Uh, I saw some research, and I was uh, and I was saddened to see that uh, the regional uh, policy is part of the national policy, but but. Uh, uh, this policy is really an ad hoc policy and a lot of uh, things that are funded uh, are funded in vain and uh, and also there's uh, there's also uh, in the Tatarstan for example billions of billions of rubles uh, and they've been invested uh, in their areas uh, but with very little results and because the the funding is there but uh, it's not effective and maybe we should work on uh, i have a i should have a list please uh, because i need to announce uh, the speakers by name and uh, full name Yes, I have uh, Goran Igor Yukrevich, uh, who is the head of the Interdepartmental Center on Monitoring. Monitoring. Yes, I, I will mention. I will uh, introduce myself. Thank you. My name is Garin uh, Hyberloid Igor Yurevich. I'm um, head of the. Uh, uh, the uh, Center on Monitoring of Drug Addiction and Drug Use uh, with Moscow Polytechnic University. But I'm a practitioner, and uh, and and when I read this dissertation, it, I can say that it's a, it has a very high practical value. This dissertation. Unfortunately, we have a very robust. A very rigid system of dealing with this problem uh, it dates back to se uh, back several uh, a couple of decades, more than that. And I heard a very the the idea of narcotization and the. Uh, the term was epidemic, and I totally agree with this. We should recognize this threat as an epidemic and a national threat. Somebody said that narcotics 
uh, should be banned and some people should be uh, legalized, etc. The state doesn't have a clear position, unfortunately. And as far as the, especially the goals, and of course, if there are no goals, uh, then there are no uh, concrete measures uh, to implement this goal. And no, the unfortunately, unfortunately, we we often say um, the number of drug addicts should be decreased, but uh, there are no practical benchmarks uh, that this measure should decrease uh, should is can be considered effective when it decreases by so many percent of the number of drug addicts and or drug users and so that's I think that that uh, with this kind of research uh, we'll be able to move forward in resolving this uh, terrible situation. Thank you very much, Sergei, Sergei Vasilovich, uh, Assistant Professor uh, of the Department of Conflict Studies. I would like to say that this program is part of the national security problem and uh, concept and this is a uh, well discussed problem Th this dissertation has a very 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 important contribution and uh, because uh, this problem really threatens uh, national security of the Russian Federation and so the strategy of of uh, the anti-drug anti policy should be at the key policy uh, in this national security policy of the Russian Federation. We don't have the time or moral, moral um, we have moral duty to save the people who are dying every second of drug use and um, this this research could be uh, a trampoline for uh, for the breakthrough um, in this area thank you very much please um, mr miss uh, Mosechuk counselor to the um, to the um, League of uh, Security Services Veterans. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear Lena Sergeyevna, I would like to thank you on, for me personally and on behalf of the, uh, the um, members of the um, former and um, and current uh, uh, staff of the federal staff of the uh, uh, federal prosecutor's office and um, other security services, and when we when we saw this research, uh, you know, my colleague said, "Who wrote this this kind of uh, serious research?" and uh, and they were very surprised to see that it was written by basically a graduate, a, a bachelor degree uh, graduate um, uh, of St. Petersburg State University, not a practitioner, and 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 they were impressed by the quality of the work because uh, they saw exactly what they think that there is no cooperation, no valid cooperation between the regional and um, national bodies um, and uh, as far as other uh, qualities of the work. Uh, the uh, National Anti-Narcotics uh, Committee is uh, on paper e existent but uh, 
it de facto it doesn't work because there, it consists of working groups from different departments, government departments. But uh, as you mentioned uh, that uh, they, they don't analyze the regional uh, programs uh, in terms of conformity of, uh, of these regional programs to the national strategy. Uh, we have to create a working group uh, of specialists f uh, that would include uh, current and former uh, members of the security services uh, that were involved in fighting drugs and fund and academics who would who would develop a, 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 an act of the Russian Federation uh, that a legal norm uh, that would uh, be uh, legally bounding, binding for all regions. And of course, they, this uh, legislation can be adapted and adjusted at the regional level, but it should be the foundation for all regional programs. And I would like, uh, I would like to stress that this work is, is a, a big contribution to this future work. Thank you very much. I would like to stress that uh, maybe final word, uh, you know, just uh, all, all, the, all comments were complimentary on the part of the speakers. And maybe I would like to give the floor to the academic advisor of this uh, researcher, uh, Daoud Arnoldovich. Sorry, yes, I didn't push the button. I'm not uh, good with uh, with the equipment. I'm just going to say, just um, I'm just going to say the final section of my review. The dissertation of Elena Sergeyevna is a novel uh, research in the anti-narcotics uh, research policy research. It provides conclusions that uh, allows uh, rationalizing, um, making uh, the uh, the policies in uh, drug uh, addiction and uh, drug prevention, uh, um, making this uh, these uh, policies more coherent. And uh, she puts uh, the um, recommendations in the context, in the wider context of the country, but at the same time specifically focuses at the region, on the regional le le re level. And uh, the goals uh, are approved. Uh, the arguments are there and valid. And uh, the conclusion uh, is this that the conflictological analysis of the uh, of the anti-drug policy is a very sound research piece, and uh, it provides a very valid and and relevant and novel and original um, research uh, conclusions and uh, practical recommendations. Uh, as far as the improvement of uh, policy legislation. So the work totally conforms to the standards of set out by St. Petersburg State University in reg uh, in, uh, regarding the, um, uh, the, the conferring of degrees of uh, candidate of sciences, um, just uh, uh, candidate of sciences, and um, the author deserves uh, uh, being granted the sword degree. Thank you very much. And I would like to proceed to the next uh, part, uh, to the, first of all, to the voting, the, the, the discussion. Yes, this is the, uh, are we going to vote? Well, first of all, uh, the, well, the, uh, well, we have to ask the non-members of the, the station council uh, 
don't go far because it won't take time for us, much time for us to discuss the verdict. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so, what's the conclusion? Yes. is present, yes. Elena Sergeyevna is uh, here as well. The, the this station council has uh, reached the, the, the verdict. So we have uh, the voting. Four people voted out of four present. Uh, four no, no nays, uh, no abstentions. So all all in favor? Yes. Kulnara Alnanbayevna, we have to. Yes, please raise your hand. Thank you very much. But I'm going to uh, to read the, the conclusion of the decision council and then congratulations. So. The verdict on uh, of the decision council uh, regarding the um, dissertation Russian anti-drug policy uh, conflict analysis study of uh, a targeted uh, program and uh, approach at the regional level submitted uh, in 2017. 
um, based on the results of the uh, defense, um, the dissertation council, including uh, Nasimova, uh, Professor Nasimova, Professor Mileski, Professor Markarian, um, the dissertation council reached the decision that uh, the uh, the degree of uh, of candidate of, si of political sciences in the specialty of 2300.06 uh, conflict studies uh, should is granted the um, the the defendant has pr provided uh, four published papers uh, Articles in um, uh, Ministry of Education uh, approved journals, and so in the Russian citation uh, index, in the Russian citation index. So the the decree is granted according to the decision of this dissertation council. Uh, point according to point eleven. And the of the act on the of the uh, the regulation on granting the degree uh, or the granted degrees of Saint Petersburg State University. So the final word from the defendant, please, Elena Sergeyevna. You, I would like to thank the chairman of the dissertation council and the members of the dissertation. A uh, great gratitude to the Department of Conflict Studies uh, for uh, your help, for bringing me up as a as a researcher, and I've been uh, w with you since 2003, and especially my academic advisor uh, for the methodological uh, uh, help and uh, my mentor, uh, Professor Sazulin, for your help. And uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, all the uh, for all the comments. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the session is closed, and we thank all the participants of this. Uh,